People were wanting a community centre. They'd shown that because they were using the school. They were using the, the what do you call it, the gala and things like that. They wanted that. Oh, they turned up there. Hundreds, you know. The gala was there. It was their gala. It wasn't like the Miramis Parade. It was the fifth, fourth board, but it was full on gala originally. Well, but no, this is the wine no, team for the. The beauty of a gala, gala day. Oh, it was a float that was done up for the gala. We done many of them in our time, didn't we? Ah, I can remember. Obviously, it used to be a <clears throat> in a swing park, but a ground, and we we used the school at that time for the initial days of the the foundation of the community association was the school. And then we were told we were getting the school block for St Mary's up Kilmanon Road. So, great. I mean, that, when you're at that stage, anything you get, you know, <laughs> is a step forward to what you're thinking of. Basically, it was just two big rooms, two classrooms, a centre area for uh, a cloakroom. And that was, but by this time, it was just the great big hut took the division walls down. We didn't actually build it, but we got the job of doing all your internal work, you know, and that was quite good. That was... It was that with Black Heart first, yeah. and then while yeah. that was going on, our school, the men, men Jim Lee and I mean, the men, men, no thanks, they did it, built no. that hut straight through there. Yeah. Which, who knows where you boy? <laughs> right through to here, about here, here, and that, that. And then this is an extension. So for here, this bit this, here? Aye. That's the extension? That's on the extension, aye. That the hut come right through to about there. That was, that was all the hut down there, the wall hut. And then this extension get built down. And then that extension, until there. So it went to there? To here, to here, to there. there. And that way? And that way. It's incredible. That end get built. The first year came this way, and that's come down there. And the second came Before we'd go actually occupancy, but they were building it, and there was the big blackboards that used to be in St Mary's School, they were about the length of that wall mm -hmm. in, the, in each room. And this wee fellow, Arthur, came by. Jimmy! Oh, Arthur, what is it? Is this going to be the new bookies? Because <laughs> he's big by Because the bookies was in the corner where the chip shop is, just in at the back of there, you know, at Merivale Road. And they were kind of talking about shifting. So he said, Jimmy, that's going to be. Things come into your head, you know. And, and, and before it opened up, ready for opening, we had a kind of open day. And this lady came in, very proper lady. And she, she was getting a tour around the place and into the toilets, but lo and behold, it was a gents toilets that were empty. And there was a, a urinal, a big stainless steel urinal, it's still there. <laughs> what is that for? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Jesse, oh, I'll explain it to you later. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to know what this setup was? It looked like a hot plate or something. Because <laughs> of the stainless steel. <laughs> Designing's a strong word, but it just, you know, it's kind of posh word for this guy sitting doing the same. Yeah, we could make that such and such, and the toilets will be there. And that. But it was a day, a, a time of. 
everybody having their say, you know. Mm -hmm. And some say, you know, no, I would be well, well, I don't be so, so, so stupid, you know. But it, it was the kind of way that was a committee. It was mm -hmm. working. It wasn't one guy saying, we're going to do this, we're going to do that, OK. It was worked as a committee. And you had a range of people. And there were, majority of them were in their 50s. So you're saying, oh, they're, they're no old, but they're no young. But that made some of it a bit of experience. As you know yourself, these things, you, there's some of volunteer, there's some of sit in the war, and there's some just maybe getting out of war, but <laughs> they need to be a bit push. And, they, you know, and they, they, they enjoy it, once. they were just kind of touching the water, like, but they're dipping their feet. But you said, oh, that's easy, you know. <laughs> Every Joe's made so uh, easy looking, you know. And we got, we got a nice bunch of people, all ages, with a good range. And they formed us, they weren't thinking, oh, I'm forming an association. We didn't think that. It was just what we wanted to do. And then all of a sudden it became a place where people want to come. And it still is. They still want to come. There's, and that's thanks to the committee that's run in it. Coffee mornings, bingo, raffles, books, stalls, you name it, we did it. Uh, as I mentioned, the book, a guy was, there was an early shelter in his garden, stayed up back at Bank Street, and he wanted rid of it. And he'd got it demolished, he got some people had to demolish it, but they wouldn't take it away, so he said to us, could you do it? So we were getting 35, 40 quid or something for it, going up. And someday I had a lorry, a tipper, you know, it was always that. Mm -hmm. And we, we got a squad of guys up, we just loaded on to get to the count, and that was, you know, 35, 40 pound. But it was all coming in, you know, and the bingo was making you a slight profit. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't for profit, it was a social event, mm -hmm. but you made a profit on it. That's his way. Oh my god, that must be back in the uh, 70s. Where's the paddles? I'm using my slag because of the hairdo. Oh. I know, it's the chase I did not know. Yeah, I think it was Star Trek. There used to be a lot of panties in here. Is that one of the panties? Yeah. And with Carpet Bulls and the Historic Club, it started, that Historic Club, it started early on. And then we had lunch clubs for the elderly, you know. Before it became fashionable, uh, we had a wee lunch club. Uh, we had the Historic, we had the Youth Clubs. We had the Senior Citizens Club. No, no, no. Well, and that's it. Oh, well, I'm not going to do it. I think we were going up the back. Yeah. 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 So we were going up the back. Ballot. 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 It's always out. Is that under the centre here? I was over six. Yeah. Right over there. Yeah. Yeah. That was there. I'd be here. 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 i Oh, I don't know the name. No, no, Inverness. That's too far away. Hi, we were. Did we go to? Hi, we were in Inverness, though. Hi. Hi. We were in Inverness. As I say, I even had me in wedding anniversary in there. Okay. Aye, I was in there. And I'm no. My, da, my son said, You're an old skin flint. No, I said, That was the fault I was used to, my neighbours and friends, and my. A lot of relatives hanging around for Glasgow into this wooden hut there, and we had a brand new spanking night. It was great, I fairly enjoyed it. Uh, my new friends, my new neighbours, and my old relations. Uh, and lots of photo views it for weddings, birthday parties, you know. So it's getting used as it should be, community use. Okay, that's what it was like. Yeah. That's Jim, that's me, that's Nancy, and that's, that's actually my son. That's John McDonald. But we had to knock it down because of the, they were climbing the fence at night. Ah, isn't it? It's grand that they can set up courses for computers and whatever you like to call it, but they're still 
a, a community use, people using it as a centre for going out at night, sitting in and talking to somebody, going to their bingo. They don't, it's not for bingo, it's not for being able to gamble or shout and win a prize. It's being there the time before the bingo, the time into the middle of it, getting talking to your neighbours, walking around with your neighbours, taking somebody in a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's what community's about. If you come on to a committee, it's a commitment. It's not just, I'm on this committee now, fold your arms. It's a, a, it says it in the word. You commit some of your time. Not just for it's not just for the people you're doing it for. It's for yourself what you get out there. You know, it's, I, I love it when I go up the street and some of these tour eyes I used to kick their behind at the youth club. Hello, Mister Rain, I'm in the field. <laughs> their kids and all the rest of well, and they still Mister. You know, and I didn't ask me. I was always, but it was Mister Rain. You know, you know it, it, it's not a great big world. It is really. But there's a world, each district's got a world that it's in. And there's people who come from that area and know somebody knew at the youth club, somebody they went to the Fit, the fit Keep Fit Club, somebody they met at the bingo. They'll go up the street, oh hello John, how you doing? And that's it. That's community. People that didn't they used to talk to each other are getting about and, oh, I can your face. That kind of thing. You know, that, that's, and the green hut, you now you, if you say, oh, the green hut, ten dollars, and Irvin's, what are you talking about? But that's run about here, the green hut, that's your community centre. Hi, I'm Donna Fitzpatrick. I'm the chairperson of Fulton Community Association. I've been an active volunteer in Fulton for over 25 years, and the excitement is the, the process of the new building. Uh, we first started this dream about 12 years ago, and now the reality is just over the hill. It's a great lifeline for the community. Um, this is your children's future. Uh, it's been long needed in this area because the wee green hut. All respect due to the, the predecessors that built it for the community and past committees um, is well, well past its sell by date and facilitated greatly but un unfortunately now we need bigger and better things. Okay. There is still going to be obviously that element uh, with the new building we've been very, very particular and very considerate to bring the, the old into the new and there'll be a section of the building that will be green. I think fundamentally it'll be called the new Fullerton Community Hub because there's a hub activity being there with different classes, health, and it's a different mixture, but it's no forgetting where we came from. We're just like the Phoenix. We're up and we're rising for the, the ashes to be bigger and better. <laughs> 